So, let's go early. I was telling, I was telling uh, my buddy here that we. Uh, Bud guy, maybe even. The Bud guy, you know, you might know him. <laughs> Some of you guys have been following us for a long time. I uh, knew that my old bass player, Sean Smith, was one of my best friends. Still, probably one of my best friends. Sean's dad. I don't. I don't drink a lot of beer. I, I, I'm a whiskey guy typically, but but um, Sean's dad was a huge Budweiser fan, like the Bud Reds. And so, because when we would go up and up to up north to Rochester, Geneva, I would actually go and stay with Sean's dad. It's right off Seneca Lake, yeah. And so we would go and ride motorcycles from, from there to Watkins Glen. I mean, beautiful area. And Bob Smith loved Budweiser. To the point that every time that I went in an old bar, like typically VFWs were the best to find them in, but the politically incorrect posters that Budweiser used to use, and, I, and I'm still what? a fan of. Yeah, what? yeah. With all the boobs hanging out of the, you know, with yeah. the, uh, yeah. I would go and take pictures in front of those posters, drinking a beer, and send it to my friend Bob. Now, this is something you haven't seen yet. Uh, my friend Bob. Don't spill it. Don't spill it. Remember I told you about we Bob? We keep making more, it'll be fine. <laughs> I've got Bob's number in here, and if you don't believe the story I'm telling you, that's a picture Bob sent me. I love Bob. Yeah. Bob. And this guy. Let's give it up. <laughs> Bob Smith passed away about two years ago, and, and I still, to this day, uh, take pictures every now and again, drinking a Budweiser, and I send it to my friend Sean Smith and his brothers and sisters. So here's to Bob Smith. Yep.